I'd like to introduce another subject from the Islam Christian Forum, that being followers of Muhammad. Followers of Muhammad must reject all of the prophets and witnesses as revealed in the 1600 year record of Yahweh to mankind that his people have followed through two covenants for 3500 years to follow their standalone self-proclaimed prophet Muhammad through his 23 year 7th century record. Thus Muhammad's followers are just that, followers of Muhammad. Muhammad's followers are labeled as such by their self-proclaimed prophet himself. From Bukhari, then I asked whether his followers were increasing or decreasing. Whether they, followers of Muhammad, 50 prayers on my followers, your followers. Followers of Muhammad. You can click the first link below this video to access the page that I'm scrolling through here if you want to read more of these hadiths. O oh, followers of Muhammad, followers of Muhammad, his followers. The following is from Muhammad's account of having ridden on a flying donkey mule one night from Mecca to Jerusalem to the paradise of his own imagination and back to Mecca by morning. A fantastic fantasy that caused most of his followers to leave his 7th century invention and perhaps the biggest reason he felt compelled to run away from Mecca. He claims he went to his sixth heaven where he met Moses. He goes on to say, when I proceeded on, he started weeping. And on being asked why he was weeping, he said, O oh Lord, followers of this youth who was sent after me will enter paradise in greater number than my followers. So we see two distinct groups, Muhammad's followers and the followers of Moses. And talk about raw, unbridled blasphemy, putting those kind of words in the mouth of the great prophet Moses. Even illiterate 7th century Southwest Arabian desert dwellers knew better than to believe such poppycock as Muhammad's unwitnessed account of his flying donkey mule. What's with Muhammad's followers in this 21st century information age? That uncooperated fabrication still constitutes the only claim Islam has to Israel today. Seems such a lapse in judgment could only be explained by the spirit of Antichrist in their hearts, breaking their minds. Muhammad and his followers, so I and my followers, young man whose followers, you and your followers, your followers. Oh, Muhammad's followers, Muhammad and his followers. Narrated Aisha, the prophet said, Oh, followers of Muhammad, by Allah, if you knew what I know, you would weep much and laugh little. Perhaps a gem of truth from the Hadith, since even Muhammad knew his own salvation was not assured. He will reply, my witnesses are Muhammad and his followers. Unfortunately, the same is true today. Not a single person ever witnessed his alter ego, Allah or Gabriel, give him a single revelation. Nor was there a single witness of his fantastic flying donkey mule. Muhammadans follow Muhammad purely because Muhammad told his followers to follow him. O oh Lord, my followers, my followers, go and take out of hell fire all those who have faith. Isn't hell an interesting place for Muhammad to suggest those with faith reside? Perhaps appropriate for Muhammad's followers who must reject Yahweh to place their faith in Muhammad. His followers, your followers, my followers, your followers, my followers. To our Mohammedan friends, what reason do you have to follow Muhammad other than he told you to? Do you really believe he rode on a flying donkey mule? Most of his illiterate 7th century followers didn't even buy into that tall tale. Even his favorite wife Aisha claimed he was with her all night. However, the most authoritative reporter in Islam, Ibn Abbas, assures us that it was an actual trip and not a dream or vision. 
Indeed, it must necessarily be physical, since they lay claim to the place where he was supposed to have landed in Jerusalem. Will you continue to reject the Messiah as revealed in the Gospel, the Prince of Peace, the Lamb of God, and his blood that would save you, only to continue following a tall, storytelling, mass-murdering, prisoner-abusing, 7th century illiterate Southwest Arabian desert-dwelling thief as Muhammad is revealed in your own books? Followers of Muhammad, please make no mistake. You follow the self-proclaimed, self-serving, false prophet Muhammad through his alter ego Allah, which also happened to be the name of the Quraysh pagans deity. You do not follow Moses according to your own prophet's story, nor do you follow the Messiah, Yeshua, or any patriarchs or witnesses of Yahweh's 1600-year record. Now let's look again. Followers of this youth, my followers, followers of Muhammad, Moses' followers, two distinct groups. Muslims are desperate to believe they follow something other than Muhammad alone through his Mecca-centered and thinly repackaged occult Sabian and Arabian moon, sun, star, and jinn devil worship. Muslims will often even pay lip service to the prophets and patriarchs such as Moses with claims that they believe in them or follow them even as perhaps 95% of them have never even read the Bible. In fact, it is banned or restricted in 51 mostly Islamic countries around the world. Their claims are absurd since if Muhammad was a true prophet, then all of the other prophets and witnesses of Yahweh as revealed in his 1600 year record are false. Some Muslims are even deluded into believing that Mohammedanism has something to do with the Old Covenant Law, even as their holy day is on Friday instead of the Sabbath. Of course, Christians know that any claims that they follow the one true God, Yahweh, or any of his witnesses, is as false as the delusion they suffer that they believe in Jesus. Anybody that denies that Jesus offered himself as a sacrifice to save all who believe in his shed blood from dying in our sins, does not believe in Jesus because that is the only way one can believe in Jesus many secular historians, agnostics, and even Satan himself believed Jesus existed. However, they deny the blood that would save them, just as each and every one of the 1.5 billion Muslims are required to deny, indeed must necessarily reject the blood of the Lamb of God that would save them as an article of their faith in Muhammad, in Mohammedanism as followers of Muhammad. Even their own hadith above confirms that Muhammad's followers are a distinct and separate group from those of us that follow Moses along with the rest of the witnesses of Yahweh's record to mankind. Followers of Muhammad, please make no mistake that is what you are. Followers of Muhammad solely because Muhammad told his followers to follow him. But you don't have to remain on that path to perdition through being compelled to believe the exact opposite of the whole subject of the gospel of Yeshua. Because that which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.